Right folks, it's happy plotter here. Um, just it's the end of October. I thought I'd give you a quick zoom round, show you how things are getting on. Uh, over the next couple of months it's gonna be a bit of a transition. Um lots of uh, stuff to get sorted over the winter, winter digging and stuff like that. Um tidying up things so just a quick zoom round. I've started winter doing the bed the beds. So I've dug this one over, I had some fairly fresh manure which I've put on so I've put some black plastic on and uh, helped that break down a bit quicker. I've winter dug that one over and the third one over there, that's all winter dug. Uh, this, is, this is going to be the pumpkin area, these three beds here and that little one over there. This year this one's going to be the root area. So let's see carrots and stuff so this just needs digging over and compost adding because they don't like manure fresh uh, any manure going in this area here sorry about the glare off the sun is for the potatoes so that's going to be dug over lots of muck added hopefully the house rebottled then this is my temporary shed set up home in here because I've started to dismantle the old shed. Now that's all I could salvage out of it. Them, that half a part of side there and that half side there. So the idea is I'll reuse that wood, but I've got sides of a shed over there and then as you come through the door, I've got bits of a six before shed and another bit of six before shed just laid down flat over there. So the idea is to try and make something encompassing all those sides into a nice shed down there. Then I can get that sorted. So I've dug this bed over. This bit, uh, if I remember rightly, is going to be the brassica area now so I've dug that over we will put some manure on in the winter and then I will lime it in the spring so obviously you don't manure and lime at the same time so that needs digging over that's a pumpkin area and this is going to be the roots area so as we're moving into plot two this is going to be where quite a bit of change is going on and this is going to be where the beans are going to go this year so Found over, it's the first year I had that in, I, plant, I didn't plant anything out into that bed, the far bed there, but this last year, I, just last year, I'd planted some stuff in it, and it was quite shaded, and it didn't really grow, so I'm going to, I'm rehashing this area, I'm going to bring that bed up here, so it runs along in line with this one, then we're going to have another bed, that one, which is over there, is going to run alongside that so we're going to have three straight beds and hopefully it'll get and it, planting on the other side of that bed was quite hard as well it's four foot wide but obviously because you can't get around the back of it you can't plant from both sides so that's going to make planting and sorting the crops out a lot easier and then the long beds which i had down here are going to start from here so and they're going to run and they will run into what will now be known as plot three and the sh i'm going to have to take this fence down because um that's going to um get in the way of things so these beds are going to finish probably about two or three foot inside plot three then over in that corner I've got a greenhouse which I got off um, eBay to 6B8 something like that greenhouse so I'm going to have the greenhouse there and I'm going to use the frame of the polytunnel that was here uh, as a brassica netting and I'm going to buy a new polytunnel I've seen a nice polytunnel which I'm going to put in this this area here and then all along here is going to be fruit trees and fruit bushes and then we're going to have the beds in here and then I'll just take you over 
I'll show you the progress made in chicken. Right, sorry about that. Somebody came in, so I'll patch this one onto the other one. Sorry, that sun's a bit bright. So, I'll take you into the chicken area. Again, we've got we've had a bit of a sort out in here. The chicken house has now been built. I'll take me clip off and we'll go in while the chickens are waiting. So keep throwing them nice ease in. Come on, out of the way. You haven't got any niceies. Yeah, I'll expect them nice. Oh. Poor oh, chestnut there, she's molting. Poor oh, little thing. You can see, sorry, the glare of the sun. Let's we'll move around this way. I'll show you. The ducks are now in the old chicken house for now because I need to build a ramp. But there is the. Chicken house. See, glare of the sun's not showing it. I'll have a quick peek inside. It's where the roost at night. This is Beaky. She was one of the new ones. We integrated her with the other ones. Go in and there's the next boxes all built for them. Oh, there's quite a few now. eggs in there, they weren't using them, so they've obviously learned how to start using the nest boxes. And there's freckles. So that's inside the chicken house. The ducks will go in that corner. Obviously, that's once I've built. Put that on there, can't see what I'm doing. Built a step for them to get up because at the moment the chicken is just jumping in and out like that. So they can get in and out. So I'll need to build a, a step there. It's going to come out, it's going to be like a long step to go up. But I'm going to lay a path all the way around it as well so I'm going to lay the path first one of the chickens it's laying under the shed which is a bit of an awkward let's say and I'll have the path this is all, I'm going to have to dig all over this because it's all getting a bit um, quagmired there's the ducks they'll get clean water every day and they decide to drink out of the mucky water there you go there's next door they're coming along. They've got their chickens in there now. So, everything's looking good. Chickens under my feet. There we are. So, hopefully, when we'll see you next next month, there'll be uh, a few more alterations made. So, catch you later. Bye-bye.